Today's short and feature pairing is an animated short film from 2014 called Monkey Love Experiments by Will Anderson and Ainsley Henderson. And we're pairing it with Barbe Schroeder's 1978 documentary Coco, a Talking Gorilla. I want you to find the alligator. Both of these films talk about humans, animals, and the emotions that we all share. Coco kisses and points to the alligator. Monkey Love Experiments tells the story of Gandhi, an infant monkey who is taken from his family and placed into a psychologist's lab. At the same time, he's watching television footage of the moon landing and aspiring to travel into space himself. Will Anderson and Ainsley Henderson were inspired by learning about the psychological experiments of the scientist Harry Harlow and also by the concurrent space race. <laughs> Harlow was an American psychologist who conducted a series of experiments on primates during the 1950s and 60s, primarily based at the University of Madison, Wisconsin. These experiments were considered to be quite controversial. Many people thought they were cruel, and they eventually gave rise to the birth of the animal rights movement. Here's baby 106. Harlow took infant monkeys and placed them in isolation for up to 24 months, replacing their mothers with inanimate surrogate mothers made of wood and wire or cloth. The wooden mother would also have a feeding tube, so it would actually be able to provide sustenance for the baby, but Harlow was interested to find that in most cases, the baby actually gravitated towards the soft mother made out of cloth, who the monkey perceived as more nurturing. Will Anderson and Ainsley Henderson tried to stay very true to the look of the original footage from Harlow's laboratories. The film is very glitchy, there's a lack of contrast, and the majority of the film is in 4 by 3 ratio. The 4 by 3 aspect ratio is not only a formal device echoing the ratio that would have been used at the time, but it's also in some ways a metaphorical device. And we see the frame actually widens when Gandhi looks out into the moon and feels a sense of exploration and adventure and escape, and then squeezes back in as we return to him in his cage. This short film is quite a strange and unusual hybrid. It includes 3D computer animation, stop motion, and live action. The monkey puppet that is used for Gandhi is made of wire and silicon. Despite the lo-fi production values, the film is extremely emotional and we really identify with Gandhi and his plight. So much emotion is conveyed through his face and his eyes and the moment where he attempts to bond with his inanimate cloth mother gently pawing at her is incredibly touching. Coco, the talking gorilla, does not suffer the same fate as Gandhi and in fact she seems rather more content in her unusual living arrangement. Tickle, it's a little one. Coco, a Talking Gorilla is by the filmmaker Barbe Schroeder, and it was made in 1978. As a documentary filmmaker, Barbe Schroeder has never shied away from controversy, from General Idi Amin Dada to his latest documentary about the political situation in Myanmar. Intelligence and vocabulary tests are set up in three different ways, with signs, with words, and with both at the same time. In the film, Schroeder is exploring whether or not animals can have personhood, whether animals are aware of their own animality, and whether an animal who can communicate through a form of human language should have some form of special rights. That is your favorite color, right, red. Uh-uh, that's a scary bug. Scary bug spider. That way. Coco is a gorilla who has been taken from the San Francisco Zoo and placed in the care of Stanford University under the supervision of Penny Patterson. 
Penny is a researcher whose special assignment is to teach Coco American Sign Language. I like this. I know you like it. Bitter lemon. In the five years that Coco has been under Penny's supervision, Penny has never taken a single vacation. She's there with Coco when she wakes up, she puts her to bed at night, she teaches her how to clean her room, how to interact with others, she feeds her, and at one point we even see her trying to put mascara on Coco. Here, I will help you. Are you afraid? Coco herself is an incredibly magnetic, charismatic screen presence, almost like a leading lady. Coco makes real the philosophical questions raised by the short film Monkey Love Experiments.